In this section, I want to show you how to create a new page style. So I'm going to open the styles box and I'm going to go to page styles. And I'm going to create a new style based on the default style. I'm going to call this page style table of contents. On table of contents, I want the footer to be turned on and I want the numbering to be lowercase Roman numerals. I haven't applied this page style to anything, but it now is created. It's best technique I find in Writer to create the page styles you're going to need and then apply them. Now I'm going to create the table of contents page. I'm going to create this in a new way. I've shown you how to make a page break by pressing Control Enter, and I've showed you how to apply a page style by clicking in the page and double clicking on the style name. However, when you're going to create a new page and create a style as well, and when you have multiple page styles in your document, I find this way, although longer, is more dependably, um, it more dependably gets you where you want to go. So I'm going to insert manual break. I'm going to insert a page break, and I want the style for the next page to be table of contents. I'm going to click OK. And now if I scroll down to the bottom of the second page of the document, see page lowercase room rule 2 of 6, I have a blank footer. Up at page 1, the title page, the first page, still no footer. So on this page, I'm going to go ahead and tab to center and insert the page number field. And it comes in as a lowercase Roman numeral 2. Let's go to print preview. And let's look at it. So here we have the first page, no footer. The table of contents page with a footer of Roman numeral 2. Page 1, 2, 3 and 4 of our report. So again, create a new style by opening the style dialog box with this button. Go to page, right click on the page you want to base it on and choose new. Set the formatting for the page to create the style. Then with the insert manual page break command, enter the, the page break and specify the style for the new page. We've gone through some of the trickier page style formatting options. I just wanted to quickly show you um, some of the simpler ones. So let's format this title page. As you can see, I've already worked with the text. I've given the text the heading one paragraph style, and I've pushed the text down into the center of the page with some enter keys. Now I'm going to modify the first page style by right clicking and choosing modify. I'm going to set oh, a purple background. If we come to page, I can control the margins. I could set it to landscape orientation, which would give me a rather odd looking document, so I'll leave it. The headers and footers we've already worked on rather extensively. Let's go ahead and set a box border around the page. Okay, and I'll choose a thickish line. I'll choose a double line and I'll set it in green and I'll do a shadow in pale green if I can find one. There we go. You can also set the number of columns on the page. So if you're laying out a newsletter or some such, you can do that. And you can control your footnotes if you have references in your page. So there's our green and purple page. I want to come down to the table of contents page. You'll notice as you look that we have different margins. The left and right spacing is different 
on table of contents in the first page. If we look at the margin settings on first page by clicking modify and go to page, we see that we have 0.79 margins all around. Let's look at the margins on the table of contents by modifying it. And we have 1.25. So let's just change that. 0 0.79, 0 0.79. And tabbing to move between. And now that should match that. Now we have an equal lineup throughout the document, which is going to make for a better looking document.